explosive secrets held by the Pentagon come to the surface concerning extraterrestrials and UFOs. A strange scandal appears to be drawing for the Pentagon as explosives from alien crash sites appear to be coming to light, that is information. Shocking files held by the Pentagon according to Daily Star emerged and they reveal what secret agents are looking into threats posed by UFOs. Although this somewhere may seem normal, there is also a continuation. The papers which were written between 2007 and 2012, that is the reports, said metals unknown to science, quote unquote. So metals unknown to us, to us here, had been recovered, tested and placed in a private facility. And where were these unknown metals recovered from? Theoretically, UFO hunters have long believed that some metals, quote unquote, were taken from alien craft crash sites such as the infamous Roswell incident of the 1940s in uh, New Mexico. However, it has been claimed that the Department of Defense spent some of the 16 million pounds of the UFO budget in contracting with Bigelow Airspace in Las Vegas, and files found under Robert Bigelow's direction at his company's headquarters were, quote-unquote, altered to allow the material to be stored. James Oberg, a former NASA employee, seems to have understood that these metals, quote-unquote, had not been recovered and stored by the U.S. military or government, but by UFO hunters. He further added, the moment went for, the money went from the Department of Defense to Robert Bigelow, who took the job with some UFO groups to look for UFOs and who spent a lot of money to equip his buildings to store this material. Nick Pope, a former UFO researcher for the British Ministry of Defense also believes that these parts may have been taken by UFO groups which investigate similar activity and maintain a database for such sightings. And he added, we don't know how these alloys and other materials were obtained and we are told they are related to UFOs and if they come from some kind of military contact that is potentially very significant. And he said, however, we also know that Bigelow Airspace obtained all UFO-related materials from civilian UFO research groups, he said. Mr. Pope continues, imagine a scenario where a farmer sees a UFO over his pasture and later finds some pieces of metal in the field. He assumes, perhaps wrongly, that it is connected to similar sightings and hands it over to a UFO researcher. So what conclusion can you draw from this? What we sense is that some sort of tussle has begun between official and unofficial UFO researchers. So who started it and for what reason? And who will come out victorious in the end? One of the groups or the plain and average citizen in the territory of the planet who thirsts to know the truth about the subjects of aliens and possible collaborations with respect to governments. As Paul Hellyer, former Defense Minister of Canada used to say. And this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.